Let's have a look at some more pens. I carry a pen to work every day, and for a long time I carried drug pens, like this super old Vioxx pen, or this Protonix pen, or this Women's Health pen, Diflucan. Some of them are a little nicer than others. Check out this Galaxin pen. It doesn't actually write anymore. I think I'm just gonna throw it out. But, so I carry pens for a long time for work, and I would usually just get these free drug pens, and I'd lose them all the time. I eventually started carrying some nicer pens for work, and I'll come back to all these in a minute, but the point of this video is the brand new Tough Rider Mini Click. I've been using the Precision Press Pen for a few years, and when I saw that he had come out with the Mini Click, which is essentially a smaller version of it in a lot of ways, I was excited by it and decided to pick one up. So first I'm gonna compare the two of these pens for those of you that may already have one so you can see the difference with this. And then I will get into some of the pros and cons of this pen and the specifics of this pen as I see it. So let's look at these two pens. Looking at them, you can tell that they are definitely related. The overall shape and design of them is very similar. Starting in the back, the Precision Press pen, along with almost every other pen that I have, uses the Schmidt clicky mechanism. And it's kind of the silent click. You can see it's quiet like that. But the downside with it is that occasionally it would get, and I'm not gonna be able to reproduce this for the video, but it would occasionally get stuck out like that. And I would have to click it again to get it back. And apparently because of the way the ball bearing works inside, sometimes the parts can wear down and it can cause that problem. Tough Rider in this case designed their own brand new proprietary 416 stainless steel clicking mechanism. And this one is similar, but a little bit different. It has a little bit different feel to it. It's not silent, no big deal. A little bit different sound to it. And I'd say it has a little bit more definite in and out, a little more tactile sensation to it. They also put these little kind of racing grooves here, which I like. I like the design of that. Makes it look a little more, a little more fancy. Down into the body, the pocket clips have a similar type design, although I'll get into the pocket clips in a little bit, but they're similar. They're both spring steel, they're powder coated over time. I've had this pen for a couple years. It will just maybe slightly wear off, but overall it's held up really well uh, over the years I've been carrying the pen. They both have O-rings up here and O-rings down to the tip. On the Precision Press pen, the tip is often a different color. And on the new Mini Click, the tip blends in with the body. Let's have a look now specifically at the Mini Click. This pen comes in a couple different options. Price on this is going to be 80 to maybe a little over $100 comes in a couple different materials. This one is aluminum. You can also get it in steel. The aluminum is gonna be a little bit lighter. This one weighs in at one ounce and the steel is gonna be a little bit heavier as it were. Comes in a couple finishes. I went with the tumbled finish. There's also a brushed, I believe. And then you can get it in some solid painted finishes, somewhat similar to this, anodized, similar to the precision press pen that I have. I went with the tumbled finish because my pens always sit in my pocket next to my knife, right like this and they tend to rub right there. And this goes for all of my pens, but it kind of rubs the anodizing off. So I thought that if I got something that had a little bit more nondescript finish, that it would be better for not showing the wear as much. And overall, it is. There's, there are scrapes there from where it's been rubbing against my knife compared to what it looks like on the other side, but it's definitely hiding the scraping and the damage much better than it does on, and again, it's not pen specific. Here's my Surefire pen where the stuff's wearing off. So it definitely hides it much better. Length on this pen, 5.13 inches, and I forgot to compare it to the Precision Press pen, which is six inches, so it's definitely a little bit shorter. The pocket clips in the same spot will make the pen stick out of your pocket just a little bit less, and will certainly stick down into your pocket quite a bit less. Moving forward, there is a pocket clip. It is spring steel, it's powder coated, and it does very well for holding its retention. It's fairly stiff. There's O-rings up here, there's O-rings down in the tip, and taking this pen and writing with it is very comfortable. It can do several different refills. It can do a Parker refill, it can do a Fisher. It comes with the Fisher refill standard, but it will take a couple other refills um, if you'd like to swap those out. Now, a couple nitpicks with this pen. The O-rings, they look very nice, but for the most part, they're really not needed. The pen is perfectly grippy on its own, and I took the ones at the tip out. I put them back in just for the purposes of the video to show you how the how the pen comes. But when you take it, when you undo the pen, 
the pen, the middle o-ring slips down into there. And let's see if I can get it off. There we go. So here's the O-rings. And the pen itself, the edges of each of those little ridges is chamfered just enough that it's very comfortable to hold without the O-rings. So I just took them all off and it's really comfortable. Here's how I've been carrying it. And you can see the edges right there, if you can see the video, are chamfered just enough that it's really comfortable to write with. I think it's not uncomfortable like some of my other pens with some sharper ridges right here. It's really comfortable in the hand. I think the O-rings for the most part are not necessary, so I've taken them out. I think this would even be fine if it was just completely smooth down here and completely smooth up here. The O-rings back here, I think are also not necessary because they're not really helping you grip the pen. I think they're more there just for looks. The problem with this pocket clip on the mini click is that you can see here right at the tip, it really does not turn up very much. So when you go to put it in pants pockets, if that's how you carry it, which is how I carry it, it just doesn't fit in a lot of pockets. It won't go in. These 511 pants are reinforced back here. Up here, they're just two plies. And when you go to put it in, it doesn't fit because it's not, doesn't turn up enough to get it through the fabric. And in this case, every time it gets caught on those two plies and eventually will cause some problems, I think, with the stitching on the pants. Back here, where it's reinforced, no matter what, it will not go in. Up here, you can kind of work it down over it and get it in. Back here with the reinforcement, no matter what, I'm forced to take my fingers, pull it up a little bit, and then it will go over and into it. If you have pants that are just single ply folded over like down here, thinner pants, it'll go in a little bit easier. You still have to work it a little bit, but it will go in. In contrast, the precision press pen, you can see at the edge there is really nice and turned up. And the nice thing about that is that no matter what you're wearing, it goes into the pocket, no problem at all. Easy in, easy out, and I really like that. So I wish the clip on the mini click was similar to the clip on the Precision Press. My only other thought with the pocket clip is that I wish this O-ring here wasn't here. I prefer pocket clips to be perfectly smooth under the pocket clip because I think it just slides out just a little bit easier. That's a very small nitpick, but I prefer that to be smooth under the pocket clip. Here's a quick size comparison some of my other pens. If you have any of these, Matthew Martin Clicky, the Burke Knives Pen, Surefire Pen 2, the Movers and Shaker uh, Tactile Turn Shaker Pen, this is a Fisher Space Pen, of course the Precision Press Pen, and the Mini Click. So it's very similar to size a couple of these. The Mini, the Precision Press Pen being a little bit longer, I think I always thought it was a little bit too long personally for my needs, but it was designed also as somewhat of a self-defense type pen with that extra length. My overall thoughts on the pen is that I really like a lot of things about the pen. It's the perfect size, I think the perfect weight. It's really comfortable to write with. It's expensive, $80. When I tell people how much it is, they think I'm kind of crazy for spending that much on the pen. They, the one guy said, what, it's like $4 of aluminum. But there's a lot of design and machining that went into this and the proprietary clicky mechanism back here functions really well and is apparently an improvement over the older Schmidt mechanism. If I could make a few adjustments to it, I would get rid of almost all the O-rings. I might keep these and the pocket clip desperately needs to be turned out similar to the way it is on the Precision Press pen. But otherwise, another great pen from Tough Rider. Check this one out, the Tough Rider Mini Click.